Have you ever wondered how to get those light up keynotes or chord information from your keyboard? We'll talk about that plus more coming up. All right, so this is the main app I use to get the MIDI data from my keyboard to be represented in this nice visual format. And all the appropriate links will be in the description. But let's now uh, jump to how I use this to get it uh, a certain visual way I like it. So go ahead and go into options and I switch to separate windows. And you can see those separate windows. Now they don't always have to be viewed when you work with them, but they do have to be open. So don't minimize them. And then I like to encompass them within OBS. So here's OBS. Again, I outlined uh, more tips about getting started with this in my previous video about guitar, but this is going to kind of work really nicely. So I'm just going to go into here. Yeah, so let's say here I have my piano demo build. So it's just a blank scene, and then you can add in a separate source. So I'm just going to grab my face camera, whatever you want to use for that, whether it's built in or separate camera, webcam, and then I will also add the camera that's above my head. And for that, I just use like a Logitech C920 that you could use above my head of USB to a USB extender. And then, and then that goes into, into the computer. So I just add that in. So we'll go to do capture device and it's already in here, but if it was a new one, you could just go grab it that way. Yeah. So now I'll go ahead and grab, I called it piano overhead. There it is. And of course too big. So alt, is gonna help you holding down alt, alt and grabbing. And then you can adjust that as you need. And then you can resize without holding alt and just moving this. There we go. So we have this at the bottom. And uh, just a quick note that in certain video softwares, you're gonna end up seeing bottom bar kind of taken up by in Zoom share screen and things like that. So sometimes, especially if you want to really show certain fingerings or crossovers, you can just move this up and hold alt and bring this down so you can get certain type visual cues like that. And so you always have that option to kind of move these around more. And now what we're going to do, since we have the QWERTY set to go into separate windows, I'm going to go ahead and hit add and go to window capture. So go into window capture and yeah, you can create new if it was a new one, but for now I have them already labeled in. So we've got piano roll. And then you can adjust that as needed, but I'll show you guys also the process of just adding in a new one. So we'll delete that plus and minus to add. So minus to get rid of that. Now we'll add in a new one, right? So we'll add in window capture. I'll call this piano roll demo. And now I'm going to select Cordy app piano roll. So again, it's helpful to kind of label them in the same way that it'll be labeled in there. Because unfortunately, you are gonna have to kind of like grab this each time you open, just because unless you leave your computer on 24 seven and the, those windows open 24 seven, each time you open OBS, you just have to grab these windows again, but it'll be already set to the proper size you want, which is great. But the first time you have to set the size, I hold alt to get rid of this big sustain view, but I still wanna see the, those notes. So I leave that space there. Hmm. Yep. Or if you don't want to see the letter names, keep it less, take up less real estate. You can also just kind of shave it like that. And also you might've already noticed that the order that things are stacked here matters, right? So if I have the camera up top, then you would be able to kind of see the piano and QWERTY. So we take that out and kind of have it stacked like that. I like, and I like to have the piano overhead just kind of the one in the middle so that I can have the piano demo spark over it, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and take this and kind of cover up certain spots, especially if my uh, my above head camera moves around, you'll start to see more of the desk that we don't need to see, things like this. Whoa, yeah. So we'll keep that there, bring this down. Then you can kind of line it up, make sure you're in the right octave and things like that. You can kind of adjust to get it to line up 
more closely to how your keyboard is, depending on how high your overhead camera is. And even if you don't have the overhead camera, this is really, really useful. All right. And next, I like to add in the chord names. So again, a similar process window capture. We'll call this chord names demo. And when I select chord names from the Chordy app, All right, let's hold out a chord with the sustain pedal so I can see the approximate size there. And I'm hold Alt to get rid of some of these different different viewings. Kind of get that way I like it. Yeah, it's nice to kind of size it with a longer one so you don't always get it cut off. Yeah, so there we go. I've got the piano chord names. And now we can also add in the manuscript view. So go window capture, manuscript view. Yeah, there we go. And you might see that this is inverted. The way I've done that is I go and I'll actually show you on the on the chord names. I like to have really big fan of dark mode. Even OBS has dark mode. You can see it's really nice. It seems easier on the eyes, better on the eyes. So I can go into here, right click, go to filters. And then I can add an effect filter, color correction, and just bring this contrast on down. There we go. All right, you can also get creative with colors. Just leave it inverted for now. Very nice. So, so we're good to go here. And you might have seen in the previous window that there's also a fretboard, which is really cool. That's a new development in the, some of the newer updates for Cordy app, which is really cool. Lots of wild calculations going on there behind the scenes from Mac Hat Music who made it. Again, link for that in the description if you want to check it out. So I'll show you that. So window capture, fretboard, demo. Let's bring that in so you guys can see that. All right, so here we have the fretboard. And yeah, it's really nice. I like to use this because I teach guitar, bass, piano, drums, and really just linking up the different chords between guitar and piano is really nice to kind of show my students, especially my students that play both guitar and piano, kind of different ways that you can kind of uh, find these voicings for these different chords. All right, one other note that you can take in and out certain elements here. So for example, if I just wanted to hide this fretboard, I can just click this button right here and boom, now, now that is hidden. Very cool. All right, thanks so much for watching. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you're interested in signing up for lessons, check out the description below. I can help get you set up with that. I'd love to use these uh, this kind of multi-cam setup as I teach to kind of help outline different things very easily. and. If you have any other any other requests for future videos, let me know and I will see you in the next one. Take care guys.